Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G running 4.0.2 firmware and if you accidentally update it from 2.2.1 or 4.0 or any of those firmwares to 4.0.2 by accident here's a way to jailbreak it. This is only for iPhone 3G. This tutorial is for iPhone 3G and how to act activate. So the first thing you need to make sure you download is you go to quintosh.tk link in the video description Quintosh.tk and as you can see this program has the firmware and how to jailbreak the f f firmware so scroll down is live I released 2.0 so scroll down until you see 2.0 click on it the download and media fire will pop up click here to start and save and save to your desktop make sure it's on your desktop then exit um, the site unless you want to read it cancel I clicked it twice so it's only 10 megs and it's really amazing program I'm gonna review it too okay so now it's done May click close and as you can see it's right here and this done. <clears throat> this one right here current touch from your downloader double click on it click run and says it's always recommended that you have iTunes installed. If you don't have iTunes, you can download it by going to Extras, Download iTunes. Press OK. This is the program. If you can see Extras, Download iTunes, and iTunes website will open after this message. Please click Download and choose Open, then Install iTunes. OK, so it's going to open iTunes website. Right here, you click Download and you click op Run. So I'm going to press Cancel and Escape because I have iTunes. Now, this is the iPhone 3G, you click on it, and 4.0.2, click on it. It will give you a download link, now to ask you if you want to save the firmware. Uh, I'm going to save it. And when you minimize, you can see a pop-up saying here, you can jailbreak 4.0.2 firmware by using Red Snow by iPhone dev team. So you click OK, it tells you how to jailbreak. To jailbreak, I will be sending you to Red Snow's site, then download Red Snow and download 4.0 firmware from this program to browse for Red Snow. Proceed with the jailbreak. So what it's basically going to do is going to bring you to Red Snow's website and you're going to download um, the Red Snow and download 4.0 from this program. Um, this program. So it's going to open the site, scroll all the way to the bottom, as you can see Mac, Windows. Let's click on Windows, click here for the attachment and click save on your desktop make sure everything's on your desktop exit out of the site and keep it downloading below and it says here again you also have the ability to unlock your iphone 3g one by going to cds search ultra snow and reboot then your iphone 3g is unlocked click ok and that's what the whole thing about 4.0.2 so i'm going to download 4.0 so that i can browse it in red snow because when Red Snow is on, you you nav you point to 4.0 firmware, even though you're on 4.0.2. It's just that it uh, Red Snow doesn't recognize 4.0.2, but it works on 4.0.2. Okay, so now it's downloading, and it says 4.0. You can jailbreak 4.0. You go to to jailbreak. Go to Safari on your device. Go to jailbreakme.com. Then slide jailbreak. That's for 4.0. You also have the ability to unlock. That's only for 4.0. We're on 4.0.2. After you're done, click exit and minimize the program where you can escape. I'm gonna minimize and it will be downloading the firm all the needed files. So the program gives you all the needed files to jailbreak. That's really an amazing program for a lot of you out there. Now Red Snow is done. I'm gonna make sure I drag it next up here so you can see it. And 4.0 is still downloading. And I'm going to stop 4.0.2 so that we can have faster downloads. And the firmwares are downloaded from Apple's server so you can gain more uh, internet speed to download the firmware. So you won't have to wait hours. As you can see at uh, kilobytes per second, it's increasing. 290, 294, 298, now it's 302. It's, it's going to give you the maximum speed. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done downloading. Uh, while it was downloading, I thought of something which is uh, review the program for you guys to show you around and what it is and what it does it do. 
So Countach firmware downloader is created by me and it basically has all these devices that are available here um, to download the firmware. So iPhone 3GS you have 4.0, 4.0, 4.0 and exit window. Those are download links for the firmware from Apple server and Apple Touch 3G iPad and every time you click on each uh, uh, every time you click on a firmware it tells you if, you, if it can be jailbroken or not. This firmware can be jailbroken. If you to jailbreak connect your iPad to your computer go to sparejb.com and download spare jailbreak and run spare and click jailbreak. And that's uh, sending you to the 3.2 firmware download link you, so you can download it and Basically, all of them are like that. And file is about that is created by me and it's always via quintosh.tk. Utilities exit enter recovery mode. It tells you how to enter recovery mode. To enter recovery mode, make sure your device is turned off. Turn off your device and hold down home button. Welcome and while holding the home button, connect your device to the computer. Keep holding home button until connect items appears. Then you'll be in recovery mode. How to enter DFU mode. I will take you to a video showing you how to enter DFU mode. Uh, this uh, video is my, by I hate snow. I got a permission from him, so it's all right. So this video is going to be showing you how to enter recovery mode. Yep. So that's going to show you how to enter DFU mode, and convert the rar.zip to IPSW. This will uh, tell you how to convert your uh, firmware if you download the firmware and it's .zip or .rar, how to convert it to .ipsw. Windows XP and Windows 7 tutorials are very different, so you want to choose which one you're on. So I'm on Windows 7, I'm going to click on Windows 7. And it tells you how to do it. To convert from .zip, .rar to .ipsw, go to Control Panel, double click on Folder Options, look for Hide Extensions, uncheck it. Go to your Downloads Firmware and rename it to .ipsw, now you should have a valid .ipsw firmware ready. Click OK and Windows XP is a bit different. It's the difference is from create double click on any folder on your desktop anywhere. From the top menu, choose Tools Options. Click on the View tab. Look for Hide Extensions or move the check mark. Go to your downloaded firmware and rename it to .ipsw. Then you click Enter and you should have a valid IPSW ready. So yeah, that's how to um, convert and extras is you can download items and exit recovery mode is um this is you have to download this irab by hate snow and after you download it it says here what to do download irab launch irab tool click on fix recover mood blue button in irab follow irab's instruction which is libusb installation and stuff what it requires click on your device generation and then you'll be out of recovery mode okay and that's how you out of recovery mode and the last feature is exit dfu mode is to exit DFU mode, hold down power and home button until your device boots up. And that's basically the program and 3.0 will have 4.1 firmware. So the next update to the program, which is the major one 3.0, will have the 4.1 firmware and the new devices will be added here that will Apple release. But uh, small fixes like for any bugs is 2.1 or 2.1.1. So yep, that's the program. You can check for updates exit that's the program so let's see where the download is good so far okay i'll be back to clear ready for red snow so go to your downloaded red snow and extract it make sure you have winrar installed and it'll be in a folder like this double click the folder and double click on redsnow.exe and here you browse for the 4.0 you just download it so mine is 4.0 right here I'm going to click here and it's going to say IPSW successfully identified. Next, make sure you're connected to the internet for this. Because it's going to grab some jailbreak data from the internet. Now, it says install CDL, verbose boot, custom boot logo recovery. I mean custom boot logo, custom recovery logo, enable multitasking, home screen wallpaper, enable, enable battery percentage, and all that. I personally don't have an iPhone 3G right now, but that's the way of doing it. If you're right up to here, you're basically good to go because nothing is hard after now. So I'm going to unselect all this except Cydia and click next. It says make sure your device is both off and plugged in to the computer. If not turned off, plug the device into the computer first, then hold down the power button on the edge of the device until slide to power off appears, then slide to power off. 
Click next only when your device is both plugged off pl is both off and plugged in. Click next. Hold down the power button corner for two for three seconds. Now release the power button for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's how to enter DFU mode. And if you have problems here for DFU mode, um, if you have problems here for DFU mode, you can go on my program, Quintosh FW Downloader, and click on utilities how to enter dfu mode and watch the video and then this message won't appear in red snow it just continued jailbreaking so i'm going to wait for it to um count down to the zero even though my iphone th my iphone is not connected because i have a 3gs not a 3g okay so no device detected you probably misunderstood no nope, i understand we all understand it's just the device not connected so yep that's how you do it to jailbreak after you continue wait for it to finish then you're done basically done to unlock listen to go back to for fw downloader and click ok to make sure items installed and go to 3g and click on your 4.0.2 and yes we know that it can be jailbroken and jailbreak yes we we already followed the instruction now to the uh, ability to unlock your iPhone 3G after it's done jailbreaking using Red Snow go to Cydia and go to search and look for Ultra Snow type in Ultra Snow and install it then reboot after it reboots your iPhone 3G should be unlocked okay so that's how you jailbreak your iPhone 3G running 4.0.2 firmware thank you for watching please make sure to rate comment and subscribe for more videos see catch you guys later